So let's talk about sequence text structure. So we've already heard text structure, right? And text structure is the way the authors organize or present the information in a text. It's basically the pieces that they use to create their text. Those pieces could be description, it could be cause and effect, it could be problem and solution, um, it could be um, sequence. So in this case, the author used the sequence pieces to put um, his or her text together. So authors of informational text often present key events in the order in which they happened. Look for dates and words that signal time order to help you find the sequence of events in a selection. So very important, you are going to look for dates and you're going to look for words that signal time order, such as first, next, finally, maybe two weeks later, it, things like that. Okay, let's go on to the next one. So as we reread the passage from where it all began, we're going to highlight details that show the sequence of the events. We're going to look for those dates. We're going to look for those words that signal time order or chronological order. And then we can use a graphic organizer to write the details in there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use a think aloud. So when I reread the first half of where it all began, I can look for dates and sequence words such as finally, next, and later. Okay, so let's read where it all began. They thought they were lost. The Susan Constant, the Godspeed, and the Discovery had sailed from London, England on December 20th, 1606. Hmm, I already see a date, right? December 20th, 1606. The expedition was bound for Virginia carrying 144 people. Finally, on April 26th, Hmm, I see two sequence words there. I see finally, and then I see April 26, 1607. The ship sailed into Chesapeake Bay. In the words of one voyager, they found fair meadows and goodly tall trees. On an island in a river, they built a fort and named it after their king, James. Jamestown would become the first successful permanent English settlement in the New World. So I see first here. Now, they may not mean it as far as time, but they mean it as far as like the order of something. It was the very first town that was ever created. Okay, The struggle to survive. There is a, prov a proverb that says ignorance is bliss. In the case of the 104 men and boys who came ashore, this was true. They were faced with tremendous challenges. The water from the James River was not safe to drink and food was scarce. Two weeks later... Hmm, sequence word, right? It tells me time. It tells me two weeks have passed by. After the settlers arrived, 200 Indians attacked them. So let's fill in this graphic organizer. So we have a date here, right? So that should be the first thing. 1606, the ships were sailing to Virginia from London. Then I had another date. Finally, and April 26, 1607. That's going to be my next event. Then I have, in the case of the 104 men and boys who came ashore, so this tells me when they came ashore, right? So when they got here was when they faced those tremendous challenges. And then that last event, two weeks after, it's going to be the last thing that I go ahead and include. So if you notice, I have 1606, I have the word finally, I have the year 1607, and then I have two weeks after later okay so that's basically um sequence make sure that you guys are looking out for those dates and those sequence keywords um and i hope you guys get to watch this video you can watch it as many times as you want and um have a fantastic day